Hey everyone, ever wonder how to retopologize cute expressive faces like the ones you see in Disney movies? In this video, I will break down the retopology process into simple, easy to follow steps. Retopology can feel overwhelming at first, and many people tend to put off learning it. But with the right approach, it's much easier than it seems. So let's get started. Now, before I begin the retopology, some free add-ons you might have to download, which will help you a lot in the process. Draw X-ray is a free add-on which makes the viewport way comfortable during retopology. I use the free version. If you want, you can get the premium one, which has more features. But for me and for this video, a free one would be enough. Second, a very useful add-on for retopology in Blender is EdgeFlow. Get this add-on ASAP if you are not using it already. What it does is it fixes the distance between the edges very useful during retopology. Lastly, turn on F2 add-on from the preference. This add-on is shipped by default in Blender. Again, very useful for generating a face from a vertices. Now getting back to the actual topic of the video, I always keep it simple. Modeling, sculpting, texturing and even with retopology. To start retopology of the face, block out the loops first, which you want retopology to flow. The most important four loops according to me are these four loops. The eyes, the mouth, the labial fold and the edge flow around the face. Don't worry about the face counts, but make sure to align the faces with other edge flow. It would save you a lot of time. Now use the edge flow add-on I mentioned. The command is called set flow. Find it and use it to fix the distance between the edges. I recommend doing this after making a complete edge flow. Now extrude two times here and extrude two times here as well. I press the F to fill the two edges with the face. Now the thing is, we have to keep the direction of the edge flow like this. This is the ideal way to retopologize the face. You can google for references like this. The more these clean edge flows are, the better deformation it would do. Easy for riggers and animators to animate. F2 add-on will let you create polygons from single vertices. I will create a loop around the label fold, trying to match the edge flow of the other edge flow I created around the face. I will add an edge loop here and fill it by pressing F. Extrude this loop straight and go all the way to the top. Add an additional loop and fill the faces. I will extrude the loop around the face as well. We have to make the edge flow smooth as possible, even and perfect. Retopology is not about just filling the mesh with quads. It is all about the edge flow. And just connect these two loops and fill it with the F command. Add necessary edge loops on the way. Look how clean the edge flow is. I will extrude this edge loop all around the face again, this time I am squeezing it in and matching with the other edge flow. Not worrying about the unevenness, I will fix it with the set flow command. We will select this edge and just hit F to fill it with faces. Now using the set flow command to fix the unevenness of the edges, look how clean it got. That's why I say don't worry about the unevenness of the faces, just worry about the edge flow. We can always use the set flow command to fix the unevenness. I will select this edge and hit F. Then add an edge loop here. I will fill this space now. Add necessary loops along the way. And for this area, I have to try to keep it all quads. So I will do this. Now we have all quads without any necessary extra loops. I will use the set flow again to define the loops. Always add additional loops around the eye area because the rigger and animator would need this area to be dense to be able to rig and deform it properly. Now to complete the eyes, I will select this edge loop and extrude and scale it in. We'll hit G so it snaps on the surface. We'll do it again. Now to fill this space, I will just extrude and join the fastest way because it's too small and it won't deform. It is just a filler so feel free to quickly fill it any way you want to. Now for the nose, add faces and extrude around like this. We have a slight issue here. The nose is not symmetrical of the high poly sculpt. It is because of the appeal factor I sculpted it like this. But I recommend always sculpt symmetrical if you are going to retopologize the model. And I will connect the area and fill it. Connect it further like this. We'll add a loop here and extrude around the nose like this. I will select this edge and hit F to fill it further. Don't worry about this try. This part won't deform much so we can get away with this. And press the F to fill the nostrils. I will extrude two times here. We'll add a loop then connect it with this edge flow. We'll hit F to fill the gap. I will add an additional loop here, connect it and hit F. Now here is the tricky part. I have to connect it some ways without adding additional unnecessary loops. I will fill this face, adjust the word, try not to break the flow and just connecting it without adding try or end gone. And we are done here. Now I will fill out the loops around the ears quickly 
having the same mindset in mind, keeping it low poly and only thinking about where the edge is flowing and extrude these faces one by one so we can feel it cleanly around the ears. Make sure loops go around on every shape cleanly so we can reduce or increase the topology later if we want. Now connecting the ear with the rest of the topology, I am adding more necessary loops to connect. I will quickly fill the remaining part of the ear inside. Now connecting the rest of the head. The neck part should be simple too, just extrude like this having low poly count. I will add further loops when it is necessary. And connect the rest of the head with even polygons. We block out the important loops first then fill the remaining poly loops. Now for the mouth, first apply the mirror modifier, duplicate this edge around the mouth and separate it and I will rename it mouth. Quickly extrude it and press Alt S to scale and create a mouth shape. And use grid fill to fill the remaining polygons and add the necessary loops. And guys, this is how you can approach to retopologize the head in Blender. This can be applied with stylized models and realistic as well. You just have to think about the edge flow and keep it low poly. We can always add unnecessary loops along the way. By keeping it simple, we can get the block out complete then at the refining stage, we can add additional loops. I hope you like this short tutorial. If you want me to make further tutorials like this in the future, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.